Howdy, howdy, new tube queers. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 11 of HP 1704 Answers Your Queries. It's time to drink up all the beers. He is going to call you all a bunch of queers. It's the man with the mustache. You know him well. Answering your questions is his living hell. He likes to hunt and sleeps with a 12 gauge. He doesn't ask any questions about your sister's age. Talking to the nerds of Noob Tube, yelling yob and touching your mother's boob. Just remember all you pussies to be a dick, or you join the wall made out of retard bricks. Shout hooray or scream out for more. Here is the one and only HP 1704. For those of you who don't know, this is a mostly weekly show or answer the questions and queries from the NoobTube community. Now since you probably don't care what I've been doing over my break, and I sure as shit don't care what you've been doing over your break, let's get on with the questions. What will you and O3 do over your Sion break, or what did you do? I did not see that coming. Well, Fuzzy, over his Sion break, O3 has been mostly working. Now, he actually just got home from work and uh, just went into the bathroom where he's probably singing and dancing his queer songs and dances. Actually, I still have my camera in there. He always goes in there after work, and I'm, I assume he goes in there to, to sing and dance. Let, let's check it out. That's, that's always good for a good laugh. <laughs> Let's, let's never, let's never talk about this again. Let's never ever bring this up again. Ever. Again. Well, Fuzzy, my seeing break has been filled, just filled to the brim. For instance, in, in January, I watched as we inaugurated our first Muslim president. Well, great. Here come all the terrorists. That's what we need in this time of crisis. Another free spending liberal and it's not like they're spending on anything that we need like the defense budget hello how else are we going to spread democracy if not sinking trillions into aggressively defending democracy democracy is not a woman in the hustler magazine democracy will not spread herself then in February I gave my sweetheart a call on Valentine's Day. Howdy, howdy, sugar tits. Oh, and a happy Valentine's Day to you. Well, I was just thinking about you, so I thought I'd give you a call. So, what are you wearing? Oh, yeah, that that makes sense. You know, it's mid-February in, in Alaska, uh, so I, I'm sure it's cold. Uh, you know, maybe you want to take some, okay, no, it's very cold, okay. I was just thinking, maybe, uh, maybe you and I could take this opportunity to announce our relationship to the world. Well, oh, come, come on, Sarah, it's not like you'd be the first Republican governor to have an affair in office, <laughs> please. Then in March... I reread my favorite section of the Bible. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Eat it, Sodom and Gomorrah! That's what you get for trying to have sex with angels! You shall not bear hatred for your brother in your heart. Uh. Well, hey, this guy's never been to Canada. Uh, let's just, let's just skip a little bit. Um. If a man commits adultery with his neighbor's wife, both the adulterer and the adulteress shall be put to death. We're just we're just gonna skip Leviticus altogether, I think. We're just gonna skip Leviticus. When April came around and, and like you, I watched all the, the noob tube Japland videos when uh, Tobin and User went to Japland. <laughs> yeah, right. Like a couple guys from San Francisco have never seen a penis parade before. Lo Ping 
Then in May, I took a trip uh, to California for my spring break. Howdy howdy, 04. We really enjoyed the time that we spent together over spring break, but, well... We have some news. We're pregnant. No, really. Both of us. High five! <laughs> we learned a couple things there in California. First of all, we learned the potency of my seed. Then the second thing, you know, as we all know, Leviticus 18.22 says you shall not lie with a male as with a woman. Such a thing is an abomination. I think lots of people don't know it goes on to say, you know, if, if doubling up is the only way some hottie's going to let you get with her, you know, do it. Uh, it'd be totally gay not to. Next. Do you still have that grudge on Canada? Well, Karate Forks, does Canada still use the metric system? Next! Yo or Yob? While I was gone, people started saying, like, Yow, never Yob, or whatever, which I just, I don't understand. So you'll never order beer? How, how are you gonna grow hair on your chest? You don't order beer, how could you ever, like, Wake up next to someone you just met and realize, oh, this is a terrible mistake that we just made and I'm glad I don't remember it because you are a large woman and, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to leave this trailer and sneak through the carnival. You know what, how are you going to do that with wine? You're not. You're going to sit around and, and talk about paintings and its lovely bouquet and how it comes alive. The bottle of wine is alive and you feel alive because you drink it. Whatever. You say, yow, you're a whiner. Next. And now it's time for the Featured Christian of the Week. And this week, our Featured Christian is from our friend Big Bad John B. Who writes, How can shit be retarded? Well, Mr. John B., I think the best way to answer this question is to go right into the definition. To make slow, delay the development or progress of, in action, process, etc., hinder or impede. So there are at least two ways to have a retarded shit. The first being, you know, if, if like on a Saturday you go to an all-you-can-eat buffet, and then Sunday morning it's like you're in the bathroom from the time you wake up until, you know, midway through the second football game you just let it all out real slow and that feels pretty good because you got a lot of food in there you know the second way is like like if you eat a lot of fiber like one time when I was hunting I had to eat the box my shotgun shells came in because you know there weren't any like animals around or otherwise I would have had to eat like fruit or whatever so I ate this box and it was so fibrous that my shit was retarded. I had an impeded shit. And that was not cool. So so one retarded shit is cool because it's like, you know, all day and that's really relaxing. And the other retarded shit's like, oh, my shit has been retarded. It is not coming out. You know, so good and bad. Well, that's all the questions for this week. If you want to leave me a question for next week or the rest of season two, there are multiple ways to do it. You can post in this thread, or you can PM me directly, or I suppose you could leave a YouTube comment, although most of the time I'll just ignore those. I do not care who you want me to rather have sex with if I'm given the choice between two males and a dead person. I mean, am I stuck in a room? with these people and all we can do is have sex. I mean, why wouldn't we like play cards or something? Why would three alive people and a dead person be in a situation where the only thing they could do is have sex? I kind of, you know, how does that happen? Anyway, so that's all the questions for this week. Until next week, I'm done. Yob. Yeah, go get him, Jesus. Fireballs. After breakfast, what do you say to around five? Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure if I can handle another meat snack. Right, though. <laughs>